So Ethereum's Constantinople hard fork is coming up real soon. And many of y'all may be wondering, do you get any free coins? What is this all about? And also, do you need to do anything to be prepared? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer all of your questions with no frills nor fluff. So to learn more about Constantinople hard fork, all you have to do is just keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners, here to bring you interesting and informative content about the crypto world. So real quick, if you can support me by smashing the like button and subscribing down below if you haven't already, I would appreciate that immensely. Okay, so let's get started. So what is Constantinople? Well, it's a hard fork, or in simpler terms, an upgrade for the Ethereum network. A new blockchain will actually be created because the new code that's added as part of this upgrade is not backwards compatible. But everyone will probably switch over because it's a non-contentious hard fork, so the old chain will simply die and the new one will be the Ethereum that we all know so well. Also, it's important to note that this will not noticeably affect any end user experience. So you, if you've interacted with Ethereum at all, will most likely just keep on going and not really notice any major changes. It's scheduled for block number 7,080,000, which is estimated to be January 16th, 2019. And this hard forks upgrades is part of an incremental movement towards the eventual proof of stake and final vision for Ethereum. And of course, its ultimate goal is to achieve global scale to be the best dApps platform out there. And here is just a big picture roadmap. And there's four major parts of the roadmap, Frontier, Homestead, Metropolis, and Serenity. Metropolis was split into two separate parts. One is Byzantium, which happened in 2018. And the second fork is Constantinople, the one we're talking about in this video in early 2019. And finally, the last stage is Serenity, and that's when everything will come together, hopefully in 2020, but maybe a delay for that too. Now, so what are the technical changes included in Constantinople? Five Ethereum Improvement Proposals, EIPs, were included. Now, if you don't know about EIPs, the community can submit a bunch and then they deliberate. Everyone talks about it. There's debates going on. And then the good ones that have consensus are added to the next hard fork. So here are all the numbers. I'm not going to read them all out loud, but what will they do? This is the important part. They'll optimize smart contracts, so it will require less fees to interact with them and also be faster in some ways. They'll enable state channels, which is similar to Lightning Network, if you know about the Bitcoin space. They will reduce miners' block rewards from 3 to 2, and also delay the difficulty bomb to the start of 2020. And the difficulty bomb, you can Google that yourself, but basically what these are doing, the latter two at least, is to move towards proof of stake, because in proof of stake, there's no more traditional miners with GPUs or ASICs. Rather, it's just staking your existing balance of Ethereum to become validators. So some common questions people have asked about this. First of all, do you need to do anything? Only if you run a node, then you need to update it. But if you don't, and most of us do not, I don't at least, we don't have to do anything. Will the block confirmation time change? Nope, it remains roughly 15 seconds. Will the cost of transactions change? Maybe slightly a little bit because of the smart contracts improvements, but congestion of the network still largely determines the amount of fees. If CryptoKitty Part 2 comes out, then it's gonna be high fees again. What about overall network capacity? This stays the same, but as we said earlier about the state channels, it will enable second layer solutions to be activated, in which case it could increase the overall network capacity in a sense. Now, many exchanges are supporting the fork, wallets included. Here's a statement by Binance saying that they'll be ready for it, and also a statement from OKX. There's a lot of other exchanges, all will be ready to go around the same time that this hard fork Constantinople happens but just letting you know that they're all prepared and that it's pretty much agreed upon throughout the whole Ethereum community that this is going to happen. Do you get free coins? The answer is unfortunately no, and almost certainly that, because it's not a contentious hard fork like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV. So miners will all voluntarily switch over to the new chain, and also smart contracts will be migrated from the old chain to the new chain automatically. For the old chain, no planned upgrades will happen anymore, so it should eventually go to zero if anyone even still trades those coins or goes off of the transactions of the old blockchain. So what's next for Ethereum after Constantinople? Well, is there a potential switch to Prague PAL? 
because this is a new proof of work algorithm that's kind of swirling around the developer community, which aims to make GPUs more competitive to ASICs. The ultimate goal is to keep mining more decentralized. Also, they'll be doing constant work on sharding, Casper, which is the proof of stake algorithm for Ethereum, and second layer solutions like Plasma, for example. My fingers crossed that this is all moving forward for Ethereum to dominate as the best DApps platform in the world. Now, what is my personal opinion on Constantinople and everything surrounding it? I'm excited for the improvements and upgrades, honestly, because the devs are shown to be dedicated and hard at work. Other smaller projects have had devs quit or just go off to buy their Lambos or retire to an island, but not the Ethereum developers. Now, this was delayed, this hard fork, but I think they did it for legit reasons. Many people were upset when that happened or was announced, but they said that they needed to do more thorough testing to ensure security of the network. And so I think that is great. We're not in a hurry after all. Now, I'm personally curious how the block rewards change will affect price action for Ethereum. Or is it already priced in? Because if you've been paying attention to the markets, Ethereum did rise a lot recently, way more than Bitcoin and some of the other top 20 coins. Also, I'm curious if the Ethereum miners will eventually cause a contentious hard fork when proof of stake comes, because basically the difficulty bomb, the block reward reduction, all of that is moving forwards towards proof of stake, in which case their GPU farms won't be good anymore because there's no need for them to do proof of work. So that's it everyone, I hope you learned a lot about the upcoming hard fork for Ethereum called Constantinople. If this was helpful at all, I'd appreciate it if you could smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. This is Kevin, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch y'all next time.